everyone, hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Galaxy Unlimited. As you can see, I, as I promised, I did a little bit of mining, got one, two, three, three and a half stacks of iron. Uh, okay, you can't. <laughs> and I got also some Shodonite, which I found, which is really, really rare. Because it's banned. Some ferros, I got a lot of bread steel. And some necessities. A whole bunch of redstone. 10 emeralds and 18 diamonds. Well, why the hell not? And also you can see I uh, started a little bit working on my house. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> And, well, if you know about Greg Tech, uh, then there is one feature added. To, uh, it's a change. If Normally from one wood lock you will get four. But if Gre Greg Tech is installed, you get only two. So how can we, uh, well, kind of fix it? Well, let's take a look. Uh, we need a saw. And a whole bunch of saws, but you just want one. And it's this. Iron saw, bronze saw, steel saw, or tungsten steel. Oh, well, yeah, a little bit expensive, so I'm going with iron saw. This is really simple to make, just need fill, bronze ham uh, fill, hammer, two uh, iron plates, and four sticks. Not a problem, so I will need to make four sticks. Come on. And also from uh, two wooden planks you will get only two sticks. There we go. Now I need my hammer and fill. Four pieces of iron. If you remember correctly. Just put them like this. You get your plates. Awesome. Now I can put it together like so. And I will get my saw. You can see it has 128 uses. Well, it's not exactly 128 uses. It's a durability. Because if I will saw my uh, wooden lock into planks, I will get four. But it will take... Oh, okay. So it's a little bit different than uh, the hammer. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Basically, hammer uh, is lowered by four points of damage. And, well, the saw is only by two... Only by one, sorry. So let's get a whole bunch of wood. And I'm just going to work on this. And yes, I know, I promised you I will do, I will work on this uh, off camera. But, well, you know how, well, maybe you don't, but I like fast forwarding. So uh, let's just fast forward through this piece. And I also want to make doors. One and two, and bam, bam. There we go, and I almost gone deaf. And also, let's bring the music a little bit. There we go. So, guys, I'm going to chop some trees, and I'll be right back. Actually, uh, one thing to note, uh, the tree capitator is not working with uh, flint axe. So I'm going to make myself... Nope. Uh, not stone axe. But I'm going to make myself iron one. So I need two sticks. And I need... Uh, was it one plate? No, two plates. Need two plates. Go. It would be like this. Head. Sticks. Fill. And hammer. And uh, you can easily uh, remember uh, where to put fill. It's almost always on the side where the plates are. Because you basically need to sharpen them to do this. Awesome. So, let's go chop some trees and continue building.
Okay, and because I really don't want to uh, spend the whole episode uh, just uh, burning my house. But, uh, yeah. Basically, I just wanted to show you uh, that you need a saw to get normal four planks or four sticks per uh, wood. So, yeah, just to let you know. And, well, do I have any dirt? Just curious. 28, uh, which is not enough. Okay, never mind. So, what am I going to do now, and basically today, is... Shit, I need a little bit more wood. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's do... I'm not sure if I had the home in here. Let's go into spawn. Because what we can do at spawn, if we need wood, we can go upstairs. In this nice place. Uh, where is it? Over here, yep. And we can get some Put for ourselves. Yeah, one and a half stacks. It's good, and let's just use back to go back home. Nice. So, uh, let's just sit in here. So, yeah. Okay, let's start with the basic processing. And let's really get through the stupid and annoying Greg Tech Tool H. So, uh, there is, well, there are few multiple ways how to double your R, but none of them are really easy and uh, doable at the start. So, I'm going to grab myself furnaces, I just pile them in here. Uh, yeah, two is enough. Let's grab, let's grab half of coal, put one and a half here and second half here. And because we have applied energetics, there is a really annoying machine to help you uh, grind your ores and it's basically called grinder. It's uh, this one, grindstone. And to make a grindstone, we need a set of quartz, some stone, cobblestone and wood gear, which is really simple to make. So I need three set of cords. I have. Uh, let's get some uh, smooth stone cooking. And also I need a gear. So I'm going to take my saw in here. Four sticks. And we got a wooden gear. Okay, that's the first step. Next, uh, next one is three. It was no two. So two of these, three of these. Come on, come on. There. Okay, thank you. And now just do. Uh, there we go. And yeah, uh, you can uh, shift left click on the question mark to put the items right into the crafting table, which is awesome. So grindstone. But that's not all. We also need one more thing, which is making this annoying, <laughs> and that's a crank, most likely the wooden crank. There we go. So where I want my grindstone, well, let's put it in here so I can see if anyone is coming to my home and put a, a crank on top of the grindstone like this. Okay, we got the grindstone. What we can do with the grindstone? As I said, we can double our ores. So, this is going to be fun. So, let's just grab what I will need for start. I will need, well, I will not need iron. That's quite interesting, because we want to go to the bronze age of Greg Tech. So, we need a bronze, and bronze is made with copper and tin. Awesome. Do I have any more? Yeah, I don't. Yep, I know I said I mined a lot, but I was mining pretty much um, lower than these two are spawning, so yay. And what can you do with these ores? Just put them in the grindstone, top here, and just hold right click on the wooden crank. Like this. And it's taking, uh, I guess it's eight spins per one grind. So here you can see from one copper, 
Or we got two copper dust. Cool. Okay, this is quite annoying. Can you automate it, you ask? Well, you could automate it, uh, well, qu quite a long time ago, but not anymore. This is really intended to do really manually. Okay, and I'm just curious. Uh, I just take copper ore out. Let's just use you on it. And... Mm, okay. Yeah. I was afraid of this, yeah. Okay. I uh, thought you can uh, use a hammer to crush it into two crushed copper ores, but no, you can't. So, let's do a lot of grinding. As I said, eight spins per one grind. And we got, what, uh, one stack of items in there. So it's 64 times 8 spins, which is a lot of spins, so I... Well, yeah, I'll be back when I'm done spinning. <laughs> and no fast forwarding, because, well, this fast forwarding would be quite annoying. Okay, I am almost done with the grinding. And also, uh, I just want to tell you, uh, don't be afraid that uh, sometimes it will not, it will yield something different. You can see I have tin dust from Industrial Craft, but also tin dust from Greg Tech. Oh, it's now from Greg Tech? What the hell just happened? Well, it's a Greg Tech uh, way how to deal with different items in uh, the uh, our dictionary. So, uh, basically, what's happening is, uh, if you have them in your inventory, uh, each few ticks, or, well, if each few seconds, uh, the Greg Tech add-on scans your inventory, and it will turn all the relative items to, the, to their counterpart uh, of the, well, mod you set in the config. But it's not unifying inside other inventories, so it's only player inventories, and yeah, I guess it's mostly player inventories. Yeah, player inventories. Okay, almost, almost, just a little bit more, and what I'm going to do with copper and tin, as I said, I'm going to make a bronze. Because to get through the bronze age of Greg Tech, we need bronze machines. So let's get let's get crafting. So to get bronze, it's really simple. It's just three pieces of copper plus tin, and it will yield you three dusts. It should be four. I I I mean it really. It should be four. Let's just look up bronze and uh, bronze dust. Nope, uh, bronze. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Really interesting. Oh, well, never mind then. Okay. So we'll get three bronze dust from this. There we go. And I don't have any more copper. Which is awesome. <laughs> so what can you do with the bronze dust? Well, you need to smelt it. That's basically it. What you need to do. And when you smelt it, you will get bronze ingots. And with bronze ingots, you can make bronze machines. Our goal, primary goal, is the bronze blast furnace, which is the way how to get our first steel, to get better machines. So, yeah, and there are a few more. If I look up the steam, it will list out, out our all steam, all items which use steam. So we get the skull boiler, which is producing the steam. 
furnace, which is normal furnace but powered with steam, a steam smelter, which can use, be used for combining uh, the dust and the ingots, forge hammer, which is basically totally the same as a hammer but uh, it doesn't have any durability, steam compressor, it's from basically the same as Industrial Craft 1 and the same is the extractor. Also we got a high pressure steam furnace which is slightly better than the small coil boiler but also it's a little bit more expensive. You need, uh, you need steel, you need also the machine, uh, the basic machine casing, some bricks. Ah. Okay, so this is smelting and as I said I'm going right into the bronze blast furnace. It's the best way, in my opinion. Of course we will need other machines, but... Well, not now. So how to get the bronze blast furnace? It's, well, you can see, oh, it's just our force, these, four of these and the range. What, what's so hard about it? Well, the hard is something. I will show you. But let's just first get crafting on this. So I need the wrench and let's just make an uh, iron one. And the wrench is simple, it's this shape. And again, it has its own durability. Uh, next one, I need some clay bricks. I should have some clay somewhere. Um, yep, there it is. Uh, let's burn it all, why the hell not? Let's keep the stone away. And I also need the plates. So let's craft them right now. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. This is taking so long. And you may be saying, okay, so, well, the bronze uh, furnace is powered by steam, so is it faster than the normal furnace? Eh, not really. The good thing about it is it, you will not use that much of coal. That's basically the one and only good thing. This rain is quite annoying. But we can do uh, make this, but I need... Uh, well, never mind. Well, there is a block called Rain Muffler, which totally mutes the rain sound around you, which is awesome. But it's, well, it's not that much expensive, but you need a lot of wool and a lot of wood and few pieces of redstone and to be quite honest I don't have that much stuff okay two bricks and we need two more come on what a horrible night oh some is growing reeds on the over there. Well, I hope it's reeds. It's not something else. It would be very bad. Okay, I got another brick. But I need just one more. There we go. Oh, not this. I need full brick. <laughs> Yeah, this is the longest part. You will just stay here, grind your ore, make us uh, cook some bronze, smelt some bricks, and craft, trust me, a whole bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, yeah. Okay. There we go, four bricks, so it was bricks like this, bronze place like this, with a wrench in the middle, and again the wrench is not going to be used, just the durability will drop by eight. Okay, I got myself a bronze blast furnace. But, here comes the part where you will say holy fuck. 
uh, for blast per bronze blast furnace to work. Well, basically, this is just this is just a, uh, the hatch where you put the items. You need the furnace itself, and that needs it's a base of nine. And it's four high, and uh, so it's nine, eight, eight, and eight. Total thirty-four or something like that. Yeah, it's a lot. And you need bronze plated bricks. So here you can see it's we. Uh, how many I said? Thirty-four or thirty-two? Let's go with thirty-four. One craft will make us two. So that's 17 crafts. 17 times 6 plates is something. And uh, for one plate you need bro two bronze, so that's also times two. So total number is 196 or 92, something like that. So 200 bronze ingots. <laughs> yeah, this is really hard. And that's why I just said, okay, let's do it for people that they don't have that much time or really they don't want to do this. So you can, on the server, buy a few stuff. If you are not a donator, you can buy materials. You can buy bronze for $8 for pieces of bronze. You will start with 100. So again, this is well. We'll be able to buy what? 10? Uh, sorry, 40. I need 200. Well, that means uh, this is no go. Oh, finally the rain stopped. So let's see. Can I? If I buy copper and tin, it's nine per nine. So that's eighteen dollars. Let's just count it down. Uh, it's if I count it on uh, one copper ingot is one dollar. So three copper ingots is three four dollars, and I will get only three. So this is better. But still, no. So. Yeah, but well, you can earn money with chopping some woods and uh, selling it, etc., etc. But if you are a donator, here is a buy shop for you. It's a half of the price, so four bronze singles for four dollars, which is quite good. Or in here, tile entity description for okay, something gone drop. We can buy bronze plated bricks, but it's still expensive, $30. So let's check how much money I, money I have. I have 262 because I am awesome. So, oh shit, shop. And let's go for it. So. How much? I said 34. I can buy two, three. That's 90. One, two, three. 180 dollars. And, and I think I'm off, out of money. Yeah, 22 dollars. But I managed to give, get myself 24 bronze plated bricks. Awesome. So, where I want to put my blast furnace? It's going to be just temporary in here, so let's put it in here. And because I don't like it being that high, I'm going to dig down a level and put the base in here. As I said, base is 9x9, nine nine, uh, 3x3. Three three. The next layer is 7 plated bricks with the furnace on front and then again it's the same and I need 
eight more, which I'm not able to get. So let's just do a quick something. Plates. I am out of my hammer, so let's build a new one. It's not that expensive. There we go. And do I need... Yeah, I need also normal bricks. Okay. Uh, is it a hammer in the middle? Yeah. And one, two, three. I need a little bit more. Well, to be quite honest, I need really this. So, if, what you can do is you can put uh, the ingots back into the grindstone. And with four spins, it will make you back your dust. See? Good. So you don't need to be afraid that you will lose your dust. But you can't duplicate it with this, uh, you know, with this way, so keep that in mind. Okay, three more bronze dust. Uh, let's shove it there. Oh, I need four more. Oh, shit. Okay, since I have still a little bit of money, as I said, this is... Sorry. Uh, this is really not cheating. This is something which I'm offering you for your hard work. So, this is two, pl two more plates. I'm cooking one more plate. There we go. Six, and here we go, last two pieces, and they will go in uh, here, well, not in here, okay, uh, you can't use flint uh, pickaxe on these, because it's really hard, well, you can break it, with your hand even, you can see, there will be cracks in a few hours. Yeah, there we go. One little crack. But uh, it will destroy the block. Okay, so we made ourselves a blast furnace. Awesome. So we can get our steel. And what's the best way to get steel? I'm going to quickly chop this tree. And you need a fuel. And uh, you can use, well, not any fuel. You need coal. You need either coal or charcoal. So I'm going to use a charcoal. And let's put two sticks to preserve uh, that little bit of coal I already have. Yeah, charcoal. Uh, let's shove the tin dust in here, or not. Oh, let's just store it in here. There's really no need to smelt your tin. At this point, at the start. Okay, let's just get one more charcoal. And I will show you how the bronze brass furnace works. You will just simply open up the interface by right clicking and also uh, here you can see the uh, layout so if you don't remember how to put all those blocks here is the layout this is the first layer this is the second layer this is the blast furnace itself this green thing third layer and fourth layer and to get steel it's one iron ingot and four charcoal or coal and it will slowly, yeah, really, I mean it, slowly cook the, the iron into a steel. Cool. So this is the Bronze Age, which is basically the starting point where is not much of automating, not much of, uh, well, really cool stuff happening. 
But this is the first step you will really need to take. There is nothing else you can do. But there is one thing. Blast Furnace. Uh, Railcraft has also Blast Furnace. But uh, guys, uh, the iron to steel is, well, kind of disabled. It will still cook the, the iron, but the output is again one iron. So you will not do anything, you will just lose coal. But there is also another way. And I'm really not sure if I c could, should tell you. Uh, well, let's, let's be, let's be nice. Let's not be mean. If you will look up steel, and I will look up the steel ingot, the blast furnace, that's pretty much it, nothing else. If you will manage somehow to get uh, steel dust, you can put it into... I guess you can't. Well, into the furnace. The redstone furnace? No, the blast furnace. Yeah. And you will get the steel ingot. But there is really no way of turning one... See? One iron ingot yields one iron ingot. One iron plate yields one iron ingot. So, uh, where is the another way? Well, if we look up in here, and it's here, from iron tank walls, from one iron tank wall, which is made uh, with four iron plates, which is basically four iron or eight, if you only have a hammer, you will get eight tank walls, and one tank wall will smelt into four steel nuggets. So this is also the way, but of course you will need to have a little trip to the nether to get the blast furnace going. And yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it in this episode. I know it hasn't been a lot, but you just got a basic idea how to get uh, started, how to get first steel, how to process your ores, well, double your ores. And we learned a little bit about uh, wood. This is quite interesting if you just say it. What? You learned us? You teach? You taught us how to get wood? What the hell? Yeah. And also, a little nifty trick for you, little hint. Uh, don't be afraid to make multiple ones. It will pay off. <laughs> really. And of course you can uh, smelt the bronze plated bricks if we bronze plated bricks uses. No? Oh shit, you can't. Well, that's quite annoying. I guess I will... Yeah, never mind. But you can put another bronze ballast furnace adjacent to it and you can share one of these walls. So you will simply... Uh, make it cheaper by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more bronze plated bricks. So, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we learned a little bit. And in the next episode, uh, hopefully I will get a little bit more of steel. Uh, really, hopefully. And uh, we will start making our first machines, I guess. I hope. Maybe not. Maybe we will still be stuck in the Bronze Age. But, yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot really important thing. Which is quite funny. Uh, careful. Don't fall down. There is actually lava. <laughs> Just a little heads up. So, guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.